timing is everything. Taking a look at your tax accounting methods as it relates to revenue and expense recognition to optimize cash flow. Uh, considerations of the new rules to capitalize research and development costs, including software. Uh, the new revised limitation on interest deduction, not being able to take into account depreciation and amortization. And finally, bonus depreciation, which gets phased out over the next five years, uh, beginning in 2023. Businesses should be uh, taking into account uh, the energy provisions within the IRA, the Inflation Reduction Act, and really um, considering the recent guidance that the IRS released in the month of November related to prevailing wage and apprenticeship requirements. So our clients and businesses should be thinking about how they're going to meet those prevailing wage and apprenticeship requirements, but also the documentation uh, that is required by the IRS to meet those requirements. In addition to that, we should also be uh, considering when their projects are going to begin construction. And there is a 5% safe harbor uh, rule out there, but also a facts and circumstances test on a physical work of significant nature. Well, the name of the game in international tax this year is the foreign tax credit. There's been final regulations, uh, technical corrections, proposed regulations, all of which have narrowed the definition of what constitutes a creditable tax. So multinationals should be looking at their, their foreign taxes that they plan on claiming as a credit and making sure they align with the new definition. And there's even a, a relief provision that they may want to avail themselves of, uh, particularly with respect to royalties, by changing the documentation.